Hey guys, this is Shara Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's wrong. Um, yeah, we're using the new band, huh? Um, you know what? Just call me Veron, because that's my actual name, and I have too many identities on the internet. <laughs> so, um, why did I see my first video then? Huh. Or was I too excited that I actually did it right that time? Well, um, for those who don't know, my channel used to be called Shadow Knight Paladin. Um, I rebranded very, very recently to Spear of the Stars, which is like one of my other account names that I used to use. Uh, so I still slipped into my old intro. Either way, we are doing a traditional painting drawing today. Um, and I think you saw at the start of the clip when I fumbled around with my name that this was supposed to be a very different drawing. As you can see, the sketch is over on the left side, but for some reason I couldn't really replicate it nicely on the bigger canvas, so I decided to put that aside for a while and just draw loosely. And I was pretty stressed and tired and exhausted, but I wanted to draw and let it all out, so yeah. We ended up with something I didn't really properly plan out except for you know, just this image in my head and posing body kun a little. But really, um, I just thought like, oh, I should make my Valentine's drawing already because Valentine's falls on a Wednesday and, um, <laughs> I'm sleepy. Um, it falls on a Wednesday, but my release schedule is every Saturday, so why not upload it earlier than, um, later, so... Here's a like sort of Valentine's but not really very Valentine ish drawing. Mm, let's see. We are gonna use watercolors today, obviously, since this is my watercolor pad. And since this was very loose, um, the sketch isn't, isn't very clean. And then the way that I go about the process is more like, oh, let's use that material today, or hey, let's use this material today. So it ended up being I wanted to use this sepia. Um, brush pen that's not Sakura Koi, it's uh, what's the brand? Tokyo Finds. It's a Tokyo Finds brush pen. It's actually pretty nice. Um, it's starting to frazzle a little already, but it's not that bad. The only thing that I dislike about it is that it's not waterproof. Um, you will see that it will bleed quite a bit in the drawing, or it does bleed a lot and it does stain a bit, but the color would be like super faded so. I would need to go back into the lines again later and attempt to like water out the the bleeding that comes from it. Luckily, this is a very warm toned piece, so um, with the skin under the chin, as you can see, the neck is kind of dark. That's because it bled and I just, you know, was trying to be an artist and try to incorporate my mistakes into the drawing. <laughs> so that's what happened, which is kind of okay. Um, it actually did work out somewhat in the end. I just needed to sharpen up my lines again. So since this is a Valentine's Day piece, of course I wanted to go with like very hearts and <laughs> I wanted to go like with reds and pinks, I guess. And also because I noticed on my Sakura Koi palette, uh, the colors that are used the most were my um, what color is that? Indigo, Prussian blue. Uh, Paints Grey and Maison Brillant. But the rest of the colors, like they're still pretty flat. Unlike those four colors, they already had like a dent, a sort a small, small dent in the middle. So I decided I wanted to use colors that I don't usually use. So I looked at the pan and saw that like my Crimson Lake and like my what color was that that I'm using right now? It was this Prussian blue though. Or, yeah. Either way, my goal was to use colors that I don't usually use, so that would be the greens, the yellows, and the, the more warmer spectrum of the reds. So I decided to avoid the blues a little bit, though I couldn't really help it in the end. It provides really good contrast against the pink, so I did end up using some blue anyway. But yeah. But it was a good stress release. It was very loose with this particular drawing, and by loose I mean 
it was one of those drawings where it didn't really plan anything out. And even the way that I color, uh, usually I color in a very controlled manner, and I would use the water in a very controlled way, like minimal water, um, so that I could control where it flows. But with this one, it's like loaded up with a lot of water, and it's whatever. <laughs> um, I also bought new water brushes because I lost my Pentel Aquash, that's the medium tip. And when I bought it online, I wanted to replace it only, but 240 is a good deal. <laughs> so I even I got even the smaller, the fine tip one. Because when I bought this aquash um, in an art store, a physical art store, I don't know, I paid like 500 plus. So I was really surprised when I saw it online for only 200. So I still ended up paying 500, but it's for two pens. So yeah. So I'm doing some cheese, which at first it looked kind of creepy. Like I wanted cheese, but I didn't think that doing the branches like this would make it look creepy. But I think it balances out later with the green and the leaves, and it actually looks like a tree that's not a haunted tree. But since this is a Valentine's Day piece, um, what are you guys planning to do for Valentine's, I guess? Um, do you have anything special or anyone special you're going to spend it with? Personally, well, I'm single, obviously, and no, that's not obvious. It's I'm single, and I'm happily so, so I'll just be spending my Valentine's Day working, since it's on a Wednesday. <laughs> but we will have a lunch out with my workmates. But other than that, I'll just probably be at home, when I get home, rather. Uh, when I get home, I'll just be like, you know, normal day. Yeah. <laughs> single and worst day, woo! I actually don't have anything planned. Does my family have anything planned? I don't think so. I think it's gonna be a normal day. It's just gonna be a lot more traffic because people are all outside having their dates and it's gonna be traffic and it's gonna be hard to buy food anywhere. But yeah. <laughs> okay, um, real quick. For the background, I'm actually using the Kurata Higansai Tambi watercolor set and I believe it's a 12 set. Yeah, so it's a 12 set, and I got it for Christmas from my parents, who were so kind to support this art. Mm, art whore. <laughs> yeah, I call myself an art whore because like, I love buying art materials, and I will do a lot just to get art materials. And I noticed with the Kurita Higan Saitambi, when I swatched them out, they're pretty vibrant, but they also seem pretty toned down. What's surprising is when you start actually mixing the colors together and laying, laying it down and watering it down, not only is it super potent, it's actually pretty vibrant as well. It's almost enough to match the vibrancy of the Sakura Clays, which to me, the Sakura Clays are, are the most brilliant, uh, vibrant watercolor set that I own at least, which is like three color sets, but whatever. Um, but they're super, super brilliant, and I thought, Hey, it's hard to match the brilliance of or the vibrance of the koi watercolors. So I surprised when I started laying down the mid green or the kigusa color from the Kurita Higansai Tambi set that it was super vibrant. It was really matching the color. Even the uh, the taisha, the brown color, was super vibrant. Like on my swatching, it looked like beside the other colors that it comes with, it looks like you know a normal. Um, what color equivalent would this be? This would be a normal, like, sort of a burnt shenna-ish color. But no, it's vibrant. So, yeah. Um, so this, since it is Japanese watercolors, the way that it acts is a bit different. It's a bit stickier than, say, the koi watercolors. But uh, it's also super, 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 super pigmented. And I actually really love it. Um, I just need to learn how to tone it down properly. So yeah, I'm also using the wine red color called NG uh, to sort of like use a more softer um, toned down pink than what I used on the jacket from the, uh, from the Koi watercolors. But as you can see, it's pigmented. <laughs> I'm also using a lot of water like at this point just to like water it down. But I was surprised. Anyway, I really like how this kind of turned out. It's not super Valentine's-y in feel, but 
you know, it's something like you confess to Saint Pai or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Here's the preview, sort of, ma they did manually because I thought it looks better, but whatever. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like or subscribe if you want to see more art from me. I do a lot of watercolor and fan art and yada yada. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Deventar to see more stuff from me and the whips and all of that. And I'll see you around. Happy Valentine's Day. In advance, at least. <laughs>